incredible greetings creatives and all of my silaholics and supaholics so if you caught my live video or you saw the pictures of the tumble that i created i want to show you guys really quickly how i was able to create that design super super fast in silhouette studio all right so i start off with a rectangle from here my tumbler size is 9.35 by 8.15 so i'm going to take that it's going to go ahead and fill that in with some black um, for the background. So I sell these things called fade bars. You can't make these types of things or create these in Silhouette Studio because it's a vector-based program. So I created them in Photoshop. You can purchase them from our website or if you have Photoshop, you can make some yourself. All right. So we're going to go ahead, just put this here and resize it. All right. Push it up to the top and I'm going to send it to the back. Then I'm going to take my, tum my template that's filled with black. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste in front and I'm gonna remove the color. That's really important, All right? I'm gonna hold down shift, click on my fade, come over here to uh, my modify panel and I'm gonna crop, boom, that's in there. I'm gonna select those two and I'm gonna group them together, all right? Then I'm going to place my little doll, she's behind it. So we're gonna click on her, right click and bring to the front. Most times, you know, you will remove background, not remove background, uh, you will trace and detach to cut it down and stuff. But because I'm gonna fit it in a template, that's not really necessary. Now, if I had a lot of stuff I was gonna do in here, I would, um, there's, there's times when you should and when you shouldn't. I'll put that in another video. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments if you wanna know when you should or if you don't, like when you should, do trace and detach in times when you just really don't have to. So I'm just gonna shrink this down for it to fit right here in the middle of, um, of the template, right? So I don't wanna go too high because of course it's gonna curve over the top of my tumbler. And then on the bottom, I wanna make sure that she's fully on the tumbler. So I'm not gonna make her too big. All right, then I have these little spider webs that came from of uh, uh, they were extras or like little dingbats um, and little images inside of a font that I got from Creative Fabrica that we used in our design challenge number three, the spooky font. So, or was that two? One of those, two, three, three, it was design challenge three. So we're gonna go ahead, take this, um, it's behind. So we're gonna select all of, actually, you know what? Let's just select this one and send that to the back, all right? That way these are behind her as well. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead, align that to the top. I'm gonna move this one to the top. You can always cut it off if need be. Um, you can see these are basically the same. You can size them, make them big or as small as you want. We're gonna go ahead, put that one right there. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And hold on, let's move our little elements. That way we can zoom in up here, all right? So I'm gonna just click on my spider web, shrink that down some, move it here, take this one, place it on this side, maybe make it just a little bit smaller, all right? And then I had my little star pieces here, I'm gonna place that one there, come over to my replicate tool, mirror it to the right, move this to this side, and we are done. We're gonna go ahead and just group her together. And now I can place it on my design page and print that out. So creating your own custom layouts in Silhouette Studio with um, some shapes, some color, some PNGs or JPEG is really easy when you know what tools to use. If you're interested in learning them, uh, go check out our YouTube channel. We have over eight years of uh, training videos and we also have amazing step-by-step -step class that you can go back watch and it comes with a very supportive community where you can go ahead post any questions that you have as you're going through all of our structured trainings uh, you can find all that on our website shop.hsinc365.com and our free tutorials on our youtube channel Silaholics anonymous all right guys until next time have a great one continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible peace